Hello ladies and gentlemen. I hope y'all are having a good uh, Memorial Day. I know it's a this is actually a sad holiday because it's a uh, this is for the uh, servicemen that didn't didn't make it home. They they died in battle to for your rights. Uh, today what I'm doing well I'm going to test this barrel but I'm uh, still playing with shotguns. I know y'all probably want to see some rifles but what I wanted to do was a uh, test the velocity and pattern with a 18 and a half inch barrel on this Remington and also try it with a 28 and just see if I get a, a shift in velocity it's similar to that last video I made I just got a bird shot I don't know it's a uh, ammo is hard to get right now so it's what I'm using I actually saw a box of Remington Thunderbolts, the, the 500 round box, marked for $99. Uh, hell no. They can keep it. I got, I'll got. i just keep what I got. But yeah, I'm just going to use some of this old cheap Winchester Western uh, number 8 shot. And part of the reason, that I'll be honest with you, that uh, 28 inch barrel that I had, it would hang up on these every once in a while so I polish the chamber and I want to see how it how it goes now this shotgun y'all remember when I got it uh, 18 and a half takes choke tubes I've done a little tinkering with it I added I don't know if you can see that but a high visibility uh, follower I put a uh, Volkortsen extractor I don't know the extractor that was in it may have run forever but I don't know these are supposed to be really good quality and those were known to be poor quality they were stamped on these Remington's just like the barrel but I'm gonna fire off a couple of rounds and measure the velocity all right let me make sure my camera's on all right hey all right I'm gonna fire a couple of rounds checking the velocity with my short barrel with a modified choke and then I'll switch to my long barrel with a modified choke and then we'll shoot a couple of pattern tests if I got time this late evening I do like this little shotgun all right here we go sorry for the angle but the Sun you know it was uh, kind of working against me Well, I think I was a little far away and I killed my conograph. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I set up <laughs> I set up the camera a little too <laughs> too far away and uh, with a shotgun that's not a good idea. <laughs> I I actually got a velocity reading of uh, 1096 off of that shot so it wasn't a complete waste all right ladies and gentlemen uh, I kind of screwed that up so uh, I don't know but I did get a measurement of 1096 and I remember with this same shotgun I was getting about 12 with the long barrel so you lose uh, a little over 100 feet per second, you know, maybe 120 with the uh, shotgun. So uh, I'm going to go on to a pattern test and uh, hopefully I don't screw that up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got a target down there at uh, 30 yards and uh, I'm going to see how this thing patterns with birdshot at 30 yards. I know that's probably too far. Hopefully I don't hit my camera. Alright. Let's go see how that looked. Alright ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to try one at 30. with uh, Just like I did with the other one with the long barrel. I know it's about as fun as watching paint dry, so I'm going to do some 
GoPro on the gong next, that's a little better. Alright. Here we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, I put a few pellets in him too. I think I was a little little too far away though, to be honest with you. Both, oh, that's some bad camera work. Both of them kind of peppered him a little. I mean, he'd be hurting, but uh, I think I was out of range of that kind of shell. I'm going to do something more interesting now. See how a short barrel runs. Oh uh -huh, yeah. Oh this so much beautiful. I like this shotgun. Alright ladies and gentlemen. Now I, what I want to do now is actually a lot more interesting to me than uh, the velocity testing and all that. I polished the chamber on this barrel because it was hanging up with this kind of your so cheap bird shot. So I'm gonna stuff this thing full and just blast the gong and see if it runs any more reliably now. Huh, oh, got my lighter. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. I'm, I'm fishing them out of my pocket. All right, I got five shells. There's a target. Let me see if it runs any better. Yeah, I think it runs a lot better. That ain't bad at all. Heck no. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, it seems to be running them better since I polished. I'm gonna fire a few more and then I'll let y'all back to your weekend. All right, there it goes, it still hangs up. Every once in a while with these cheap shells, you get a hard extraction. Most of them cycled okay. I don't know, and that other barrel will just go through them just as slick as ever. Let me try a high brass. Well, no, this ain't a high brass. Here's a, well, I'm going to shoot that. That's a, what the heck. A little old low brass. Let me see if it do it again. Now, that one was smoother. I don't know, something about the cheap Winchester bird shot, and this thing don't agree. It is better than it was. With my other barrel, I don't have any trouble at all, but uh, I know I kind of screwed this video up and I apologize for that, but uh, as usual, I really I appreciate y'all watching and supporting my channel. Uh, hope y'all have a, a great weekend. God bless you. Or God bless each and every one of you. Hey, let me clean this. I'm gonna clean the paint off that sucker before I turn the camera off. There we go.